Okay, a wire of length uh, 0 0.655 meter carries a current of 21 ampere. In the presence of a 0 0.47 Tesla, 0 0.47 Tesla magnetic field, the wire experiences a force of uh, 5.46 Newton. What is the angle? Uh, must be less than 90 degree between the wire and the magnetic field. Okay, so uh, this question is about what? Okay, it's about uh, magnetic force. You can see, yeah? Uh, magnetic force. So, uh, magnetic force. This is the magnetic force. For uh, current carrying conductor, uh, for wire current. Okay, so this question will, will be using this uh, formula. Yeah, force on current carrying conductor in uniform magnetic field. Okay, use this formula IL cross B, BIL sine theta, the magnetic force. Okay, uh, so, alright, so, okay, let's pick up the information given. So, we have the length already, length L, uh, this is the current, uh, this is the magnetic field strength, okay. Uh, this is the magnetic force. So we want to find the angle theta. This is the angle theta. Why we say this is angle theta? Uh, because uh, this is between the wire and the magnetic field. And uh, the wire is the uh, is the you know is the length and magnetic field. Ah, so uh, okay. It's just like it's just like uh, the wire and the uh, direction of magnetic field okay direction of magnetic field uh. and this direction of magnetic field and this is the wire okay with current okay with uh, current oops current flowing in inside the wire okay the whole length of the whole length of the you know wire Okay, so direction of the the theta should be okay. The theta should be uh, okay. Let me okay. This is the wire, the whole length of the wire, and theta should be the angle between the current or the L with B, lah. Okay, so why why we say theta is the angle between L and B or I and B? Because uh, look at the formula. It's L cross B uh, is L cross B. So that's why the theta is between uh, L and B. Okay, so let me write down the formula here. Okay, so magnetic force is I L I L cross B. Uh, uh, so, or we can say write it as B, B sine theta. Uh, because it's a cross product, cross product, that's why we use sine theta. And this angle theta, angle theta is between L and B. Uh, that the angle theta is between L and B. So between the wire, L means the wire, L means the wire, B means the magnetic field. Okay, so this angle theta is between L and B. So this is the angle theta. Uh, this is the angle theta wanted here. Uh, this is the angle theta wanted here. We want to find the value of theta here between wire and magnetic field. Between L and B. And the direction of L normally follow the normally uh, uh, follow the current. Ah, or we can say the direction of the length refer to direction of current. Uh, or normally refer to direction of current. Okay? So we can say this theta also the theta also angle between current and magnetic field because the length always follow the current. Okay? Uh, so, okay, going, we want to find the theta. Right? So, let's substitute all the information we have into here, into this formula. Okay, the magnetic force is 5.46 Newton. Magnetic field is 0 0.47 or uh, SI unit. Yeah? Nothing to change. The Current is 21 ampere, also SI unit. The length is uh, in meter also, so all in SI unit. Okay, sine theta. 
Okay, make sure your calculator set to degree. Uh. Set to degree, not radian. Uh. Not radian. Uh, be careful. Not, uh, not set to radian. Uh. Set to degree, your calculator. Okay, so let's find out our, you know, that value. Okay, first we will get sine theta. Okay, uh, and then we empty sine. Okay, uh, 5.46 divided by 0 0.47 divided by 21 divided by 0 0.655. Uh, 0 .06 point, point 0.655. Okay. So the answer is um, my sine theta is 0 0.844567. Okay, and then I, I don't forget to anti sign. Uh, don't forget to anti. What is this? Don't forget to anti sign. Okay, and my theta is. Ah, fifty-seven point uh, six three degree. Ah, uh, that's my angle. Okay, that's my angle. Ah, uh, fifty-seven point six three. Degree. Is that correct? Yeah, that's the answer. All right. Okay. So ah, uh, that's all for these questions. Yeah. Angle theta is between the wire and magnetic field. Yeah, and the direction of wire always follow the current. Uh, okay, so that's all for this part. Bye bye.